Adidas basketball has been doing some great things lately, and he brought back one of my favorite basketball shoes and maybe its best form ever. So today, let's check out the recent retro of the Adidas Crazy 8 in the Team Orange colorway. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? It's Mike from the Secret History Podcast, and we're back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. If you're new to the channel or you hadn't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment, hit the notification bell if you like what you see, so that way you're always notified when new videos like this drop, and you help push this one through the algorithm. So I really do appreciate you guys who've done so, and those who will do so in the future, thank you as well. Now, you already saw the intro, guys. No hiding this. This is one of my favorite basketball shoes, the Adidas Crazy 8. And they've come back out in 2023 in, I think, the best form ever. So first off, shout out to the Adidas family for sending this pair over. This is going to be a release on 916, or at least it should be. Keep an eye out because I know release dates can change. But they were nice enough to send me over an early pair so I can bring you guys an early look. Now, guys, if you're not familiar with the Crazy 8, it is actually formerly known as the KBA, which was Kobe Bryant's signature sneaker in 1997 when he was with Adidas. And, of course, he's not with Adidas anymore, so they had to transition the name to Crazy 8. This shoe has seen countless retros, so it's not something that is rare or, you know, hard to find. But I will say not everyone really was up to par when it came to materials, in my opinion. But this pair, the black pair I put up here that's already released, have been fantastic so far. Adidas really came out just swinging with these, making sure you got just a premium material for a decent price. These are going for 140 bucks compared to a lot of other retro basketball shoes with premium materials that are upwards of 180 and $200. So you're getting an awesome deal for a sneaker that belongs to one of the greatest basketball players ever. Now I'm a bit biased because of course Kobe is one of my favorites, but I know like a lot of you out there, it's been hard in the streets when you're trying to get a Kobe model, especially from that other brand over there who's not really doing doing a hot job with that sneakers app. So me being a fan, no matter if it's a Adidas, if it's a PE from another brand, I'm always cool to add them to the collection because it just really builds that legacy that you got to see on court in my collection. Now, as you get into the sneaker, again, premium materials up top. This is gonna be an all orange hairy suede. When's the last time you saw a hairy suede on a basketball shoe, at least in this amount? I'll, I'll wait because I have no idea. You guys let me know down in the comments because I have not seen something with this kind of material on it meant for basketball play. Now, this reminds me, or I should say, I should take that back. I'm not gonna take their their, their glory because it was Roet, Nick, and uh, Robbie that say it looks like something that Mon Shumpert would've wore when he was with the Knicks. And you know what, aside from the blue being lighter, I can see that happening. It looks like a PE that somebody would've wore. But guys, look at look at this material. We're gonna get up close. I mean, you guys will see the B-roll. That is such a nice material on this sneaker and all that team orange. But right on the toe box, you're gonna have that Adidas Performance branding in that light blue color. As we go up to the sneaker, it has kind of like those fingers that go across really give you that lockdown where the laces go through. It's gonna be surrounded with the orange suede, but you're gonna have a white synthetic leather that is gonna be in between. And the synthetic is not super stiff, super vinyl-like like you typically would get. It actually has a softness to it, which shows that, again, Adidas is really stepping their game up to make this a better product. Now, within those eyelets, you're going to have your orange rope laces. That's probably my only complaint about the Crazy 8. For some reason, I feel like the laces come untied fairly easily. I feel like if they switched to maybe an oval lace, they would hold up a bit better. But it could just be a me thing, so you guys let me know if that's just me. Now, these laces are going to sit on top of a tight-knit mesh tongue. And one big change you're gonna notice here is that on the bottom of the tongue, sorry, I keep switching shoe with my hands, guys, but you're gonna have instead of the eight that was typically there, it's gonna be replaced by the Feet You Wear branding or that little mascot that is right there, uh, which is kind of weird to me because typically I'm so used to that eight being there for Crazy Eight and of course Kobe, who was number eight at the time. But I can live with it. Not, not something that's gonna hurt my feelings, but I would like to see the eight on some future models. Now, as we get up to the top of the tongue, you're gonna have the Adidas equipment branding here in white and blue. And on top, you're gonna have that light blue tongue tag to make sure you can get your foot in there. Now, one thing I did not realize, I, I don't know how I missed it, but this is an extra eyelet. This little blue ribbon is an extra eyelet you can use to get a little bit more ankle support. I was tying it down here, it's like, man, I got a lot of lace left. And something told me just to see if I can run the lace through it. You can give you some more support. So something I'm silly and didn't realize until, well, I was actually putting these on court. Now the inside is going to be a terry cloth type material that's gonna be done up in that light blue as well. The insole is gonna be light blue and it's going to be that orange Adidas Performance branding. And the insole, nothing special. I mean, it's kind of hard to pull it glue down pretty well. If you can see it, it's 
nothing special, just a little bit of a light foam in there. <laughs> nothing to really write home about, pretty, pretty standard. I would hope they would put something a little thicker in it if they wanted you to play in it because it comes in Adidas performance box. But other than that, not much to complain about. I mean, it is what it is. I still like the shoe. Now, if we get to the ankle, we're going to have the Adidas branding with the uh, three stripes done up in light blue and Adidas wording in white. Flip it to the medial side, you're going to have that little feature wear logo again because if you didn't know, the Crazy 8 or KB8 was a part of the feature wear line. We're basically trying to give you court feel, give you almost a natural feeling on your foot while you're wearing this on court. So that was their whole deal with the feature wear lineup. Now, one of the well, not one of the, the most defining thing of the Crazy 8 is going to be the midsole setup. You have this very aggressive, just futuristic midsole that has these jagged peaks that go along where those, like I said, those fingers are to give you some more lockdown. It's all EVA foam. That is going to be the cushioning here. Now, it would be really cool to see if they did a, a what, Resto Mod is what they do with Adidas. It would be awesome if they did that and put like Adapreme Plus in here or Bounce because I think this shoe is so futuristic that in 2023, it still looks better than a lot of shoes we're getting now. So... Having this be really upgraded for today's play would be awesome. Now, something we're gonna talk about later as well because I kind of snuck in a beauty steel ball as well as a just a normal review. Now, as we get to the back of the shoe, you're gonna have that same pool tab like we got on the uh, tongue in light blue. A little further down, you're gonna have the Adidas branding done up in a hairy suede that is light blue with the blue, or I'm sorry, orange and white Adidas three stripes. And you're gonna have the bands that we saw come up on the ankles going across on the back. One of the signature details of the shoe as well. The bottom, you're gonna have a synthetic piece of leather and white that breaks up where the midsole starts. We're gonna have a white branding of Adidas equipment as well. And again, just going to the outsole, just one of those really just defining pieces of this sneaker. You're gonna have the pods here that are gonna give you the light blue herringbone. You're gonna have your torsion system here in the middle in light blue plastic. And you're gonna have the heel, which is gonna also have a hairy bone pattern attraction as well. Now, guys, this shoe, I tell you right off the bat, still can hoop in it. 100% can still hoop in this shoe. I love it. This is probably one of my favorite old retros to play in. I'm not gonna go down the same checklist I normally do in the Do They Still Ball video, but just know you can hoop in these shoes still and they work perfectly. They, they may look super heavy and super bulky, but they're not really heavy, which is weird. I mean, of course, the weight comes from the big EVA, EVA midsole and rubber outsole you're going to get, but it's not a super heavy shoe, surprisingly enough. Now, I would say go true to size in this sneaker. It's not a super slim shoe, it, not a super lengthy shoe. Everything seems to be just perfectly on your foot, but try them on if you can. I mean, everyone's foot's different. I'm giving you my thoughts how I feel when I put it on my foot but try it out just so you get the perfect fit for you. But if you can, I would suggest going true to size because as you can see, wide footers, I don't feel like you need to go half size up with how wide the eyelets are apart from each other. You're gonna have a pretty wide opening and pretty wide setup so you're not having to you know, go extra, you know, sacrifice that length for the width there. Now as we get into the shoe as well, traction is amazing on it, still holds up very well. Uh, if you're going on court with these, you're not going to be slipping and sliding anywhere. That herringbone is pretty much tried and true. And you're going to, again, have a fun time playing this shoe. It just looks cool, something you don't see often. Again, you, you still have players in the past wearing them. One of my favorite PEs, or not really PE, they released it, but one of my favorite makeups was Derrick Rose's red, black, and white pair from 2011. Adidas, if you're listening to me, if you make that same color with this suede material just go ahead and send me a pair automatically i will play in them all the time because that was one of my favorite shoes one of my favorite players as well but this has been just again a fun sneaker to have i always love it because it's just so different still so futuristic for you know being a 1997 shoe it looks still out of this world and will always be one of my favorite basketball shoes so i'm pretty biased so i won't lie to you guys there but you guys let me know what you think about it. again these will release on september 16th again keep an eye out if any changes do happen but use my affiliate link at the bottom yes i do get a kickback i do get a share of the sale if you do buy from my affiliate link and i do appreciate you guys if you do use it so i always going to give you a heads up there i'm not going to try to sneak that in on you but let me know your thoughts on the crazy eight do you like it do you not like it this is the best way to get kobe's now without having to deal with the other brand let me know down below, and until next time, see ya.